Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about a primary part that you're going to need to put your LS motor in an older Chevy vehicle. That's going to be our 551-628 adapter plates. Now what you're going to get in your package is a driver and passenger side plate, six M10 flange bolts, and eight M10 flathead bolts. Now what these plates are going to do is adapt to this four bolt hole pattern on the LS motor to a three bolt pattern of an early or late style smaller big block Chevy motor mount. Now let's get ready for the install. Now the first step is we're going to be bolting our passenger side adapter plate to these four threaded holes on the LS block. We're going to be using our four flathead M10 bolts and our six millimeter Allen wrench. And now we're ready to put our motor mount on. Now again, these plates are going to work with your early or your late style small or big block Chevy motor mounts. Today we're going to be installing our late model clamshell mounts. Now we get a lot of questions from our customers about which set of threaded holes they're going to use for their mounts. Well the forward set of holes here is going to put your bell housing of your LS motor in the same location as your small block Chevy. So if you've got an older transmission and you want to keep your cross member in the same location, you're going to put your mount on the forward holes. You can also move your mount backwards from there. It just pushes your motor forward a little bit. So you're going to put your mount in with three M10 flange bolts. And now you're ready to repeat this process on the other side. Now once you have your motor mounts installed on both sides of your engine, you're ready to put your LS motor in your vehicle. Be sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next time.